Welcome in the new chapter of the cell biology. We are going to start the cytoplasmic organelles. Today we will discuss the endoplasmic reticulum that is very important organelle of the cell. It starts from the nuclear membrane and ends with the plasma membrane. It is the most important component of the endomembrane system. In this lecture we will discuss the introduction about the endoplasmic reticulum, its composition, its structure, its uh, types and functions, general function of the endoplasmic reticulum and the specific function of both smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. If you look at the introduction of the endoplasmic reticulum, the endoplasmic reticulum is such an extensive network of membranes that it accounts for much more than half of total membranes in many eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells may Half se zyada jo membranes hain wo endoplasmic reticulum se composed hain. The word endoplasmic reticulum means within the cytoplasm. Endoplasmic means within the cytoplasm and reticulum means latent net. That is the latent word mean latent net. The network of the tubules or the latent net that is present in the cytoplasm is called endoplasmic reticulum. So it is the network of tubules that is present that is found in the cytoplasm that's why it is called the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum is a large organelle made of membrane sheets and tubules that begin near the nucleus, near the nucleus and extends across the cells. Subcell largest organelle cell ki endoplasmic reticulum hai. Ye composition is kya? It is made of the membrane sheets and tubules. Start kahan se hai? Nucleus se. Or extend kahan tak ho hai? Across the cell plasma membrane tak extension hai iski. The entire structure can account for large proportion of endomembrane system of the cell. Jo endomembrane system ka major component hai, wo endoplasmic reticulum se mail ke banta hai. We can also define endoplasmic reticulum as Endoplasmic reticulum is an extensive membrane network of cisterni that are the cell like structure which are held together by cytoskeleton. Cisterni, when cytoskeleton they form the endoplasmic reticulum. The phospholipid membrane encloses a space, the lumen from the cytosol, which is continuous with the perinucleus space. This structure is perinucleus space that continues with the endoplasmic reticulum. Ki. The endoplasmic reticulum varies extensive, extending from the cell membrane through the cytoplasm and forming a, forming a continuous connection with the nuclear envelope. Cell membrane or plasma membrane that extend with the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum occurs in most types of eukaryotic cells but is absent from the red blood cells and spermatozoa. Jadata eukaryotic cell may endoplasmic reticulum hote hain lekin red blood cells mein aur spermatozoa mein endoplasmic reticulum absent hote hain and endoplasmic reticulum are totally absent in the prokaryotes. History of the endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum was observed with light microscopy by Guernier in 19 uh, in 1897 who coined the term gastroplasm. 1897 में गेरनियर ने ka naam diya. With the microscopy, the lacy membranes of endoplasmic reticulum were first seen in 1945 by Keith R. Porter, Albert, Albert Clark, Brody Meskers and Ernest F. Fulham. Later, the word reticulum, which means the network, was applied by Porter in 1953. The term or the reticulum was used by the Porter. Morphology of the endoplasmic reticulum, there are three elements or forms of endoplasmic reticulum. Cisterni, vesicles and tubules. Cisterni. The cisterni are long, flattened, sac-like, unbranched tubules arranged parallelly in bundles or stacks. Nuclear membrane ke saath hi, jo long, flattened or unbranched tubules hoti hain, unko cisterni kehte hain. Each sac is separated by cytos cytosolic space. Rough endoplasmic reticulum usually exists as cisterni. Jo rough endoplasmic reticulum hote hain, wo cisterni ke taur par exist karte hain. Chunga yi nuclear membrane ke kareeb hote hain, inke saath ribosome embedded hote hain. That's why these ribosome are called the rough endoplasmic reticulum. They form in the flattened and sac like unbranched tubules. Cisterni are formed by blabbing of nuclear membrane. Blabbing of nuclear membrane means ke jo nuclear membrane ki out extension hoti hai. This is a nuclear membrane. Jab nuclear membrane ki out extension hogi, then this form the 
दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड द ब्लैबिंग दिस इज कॉल्ड द ब्लैबिंग उसकी ब्लैबिंग की वजह से हमारे पास जो ये स्ट्रक्चर बनते हैं कॉल्ड द सिस्टर इसको स्ट्रक्चर नहीं बोलते हैं क्योंकि ये फ्लैटन है ये लॉन्ग है और अनब्रांच ट्यूब्स ट्यूब्स लाइक स्ट्रक्चर हैं दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज द सिस्टर नहीं और ये न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन के करीब होती हैं इनके साथ राइबोसोम अटैच होता है इस दैट्स व्हाई वी से दैट रफ इनब्रांच रेटिकुलम यूजुअली एग्जिस्ट एज द सिस्टर नहीं तो सिस्टरनी आर फॉर्म बाय द ब्लैबिंग ऑफ द न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन ब्लैबिंग मीन आउट इनविजिनेशन एक्स इज जो जब न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन एक्सटर्नल मूव करेगा दैट इज कॉल्ड द ब्लैबिंग ऑफ द न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन ऑन द द सिस्टरनी स्पेस ऑफ द रफ एंड ऑफ द रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम अपीयर्स इन इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोग्राफ टू बी डिवाइडेड इनटू सेपरेट कंपार्टमेंट्स इट इज थॉट दैट ऑल द रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम सिस्टरनी कम्युनिकेट विद वन अनदर एंड दैट द सिस्टरनी स्पेस इज कंटीन्यूअस अमंग देम जो स्पेस होती है ये कंटिन्यू होती है ये कंटीन्यूअसली आपस में अरेंज होती है इसमें सेपरेट अरेंजमेंट नहीं होती second component of the endoplasmic reticulum is the vesicles vesicles are the oval membrane bound structures they are 25 to 500 microns in diameter they occurs in liver and pancreatic cells these vesicles have different densities indicating different nature of their contents vesicles may often remain present in the cytoplasm of most cells or it may be present near the smooth and plasmic reticulum vesicles are also embedded with the ribosomes and are closer to the cisterni as well to ye inke sath bhi ribosome attach hote hain cisterni ke sath bhi ribosome attach hote hain aur vesicle ke sath bhi attach hote hain vesicle cytoplasm mein bhi ho sakte hain aur cisterni ke close bhi ho sakte hain tubules they are small and branched tubules hain small honge aur branched honge they show 50 to 150 microns in diameter they are arranged irregularly in cells they are seen in almost all cells no ribosomes are embedded with the tubules the membranes elements of smooth endoplasmic reticulum are typically tubular jo smooth endoplasmic reticulum ki membrane hoti hai mainly they are the tubulars it forms an interconnecting system of pipelines curving through the cytoplasm in which they occur tubules are closer to plasma membrane These are three elements of the endoplasmic reticulum cisterni these elongated tubules hoti hain inke sath ribosome attach hote hain ye closer to nuclear membrane hota hai inka jo lumen hota hai cisterni ka 40 to 50 micrometer ye narrow hote hain as compared to the vesicles and tubules jo vesicles hote hain they are round in structure oval in shape hote hain inke sath bhi ribosome attach hote hain ye cisterni ke kareeb bhi ho sakte hain aur ye cytoplasm mein bhi ho sakte hain जो ट्यूब्यूल्स होते हैं ट्यूब्यूल्स होते हैं ब्रांच्ड स्ट्रक्चर्स होते हैं इनके साथ राइबोसोम अटैच नहीं होते दीज मेनली फॉर्म द स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम दीज आर थ्री कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम सिस्टरनी वेसिकल्स एंड ट्यूब्यूल्स एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम हैज टू इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट्स इट मे बी द रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एंड द स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम दैट इज नियर द न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन देयर दैट इज द out vegetation of the nuclear membrane and the blabbing of the nuclear membrane having the ribosome the ribosome attach hongi these are the cisterni these are the elongated these are interconnected with each other having the ribosome attached with the protein called the riboforin ribosomes are attach on the endoplasmic reticulum with the protein called the riboforin and when the ribosome attach on the endoplasmic reticulum that endoplasmic reticulum is called the rough endoplasmic reticulum and this uh, cisterni or uh, endoplasmic reticulum have the internal lumen and the cavity that uh, this is the cisterni uh, having the ribosomes and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum mainly it is made up of the tubules having no ribosome jab ribosome attach nahi honge endoplasmic reticulum pe to usko hum bol ये स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम द वेसिकल्स आर ट्रांसपोर्टेड फ्रॉम द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इट मे हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटीन्स ट्रांजिशनल एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम आर इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम हैविंग द एबिलिटी टू सिक्रीट द प्रोटीन्स व्हेन सिक्रीटेड प्रोटीन्स आर डिपार्ट फ्रॉम द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम दैट आर रैप्ड इन द मेम्ब्रेन वेसिकल्स मेम्ब्रेन वेसिकल्स में रैप होकर जब प्रोटीन्स सिक्रीट होंगी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द बर्ड like the bubbles from a specialized region that is called the transitional region uh, transition endoplasmic reticulum so transition endoplasmic reticulum origin hota hai jahan se secretory protein membrane mein wrap hokar cell se excrete hoti hai 
chemical composition of endoplasm reticulum by a differential centrifugation most of the components of the endomembrane system can be isolated and so uh, in the so called microsomal fractions called the microsomes are closed vesicles of either a rough or the smooth form that are not found in the intact cells in rat liver the membranes of microsomes contain 60 to 70% of proteins and 30 to 40% of phospholipids by weight thus endo plasmic reticulum membrane contains more proteins both in quantity and quality than the plasma membrane the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum are found to contain many enzymes triglycerides phospholipids and cholesterol most important endoplasmic reticulum enzymes include the striates nadh cytochrome c reductase nadh diaphoresis glucose 6 phosphatase glycosyl transferase and magnesium activated ATPase these are different types of enzymes that are present in the membrane or in the endoplasmic reticulum there are 30 enzymes present in the endoplasmic reticulum the various enzymes have different topologies with respect to the luminal or cytoplasmic surfaces of the endoplasmic reticulum biogenesis of endoplasmic reticulum how endoplasmic reticulum originate or form according to current concept membranes biogenesis is a multiple step process that involves the synthesis of basic membrane of lipids and intrinsic proteins kyunki ye endoplasmic reticulum membrane se milke bane hai isme phospholipids bhi embed honge isme proteins bhi embed honge then the addition of the other components such as enzymes sugars or lipids occur in sequential manner isme jab basic layer ban jayegi phospholipid by layer ban jayegi usme enzymes sugar aur lipids will sequentially add honge the insertion of proteins into endoplasmic reticulum membrane is independent of that of lipids some proteins of endoplasmic reticulum are formed by the ribosomes in the cytosol which then become inserted into the membrane in endoplasmic reticulum the phospholipids are distributed more rapidly between two monolayers than that in the plasma membrane general functions of the endoplasmic reticulum Within the cell the endoplasmic reticulum acts as a circulatory system for intracellular circulation of various substances kyunki endomembrane system ka bahut basic part hai endoplasmic reticulum that's why it is responsible for the circulation of intracellular substances the route of circulation of the endoplasmic reticulum is rough endoplasmic uh, nuclear membrane se receive karega then rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex sorting hogi packaging hogi and then transport uh, it may be in the form of lysosomes or transport vesicles or secretory granules may be secreted in this route various particles molecules and ions may be carried into and out of the cells mostly substances cell mein enter bhi ho sakte hain aur cell se exit bhi kar sakte hain is process is route ke through export of rna from nucleus to cytoplasm may also occur by this circulation nucleus se rna bhi isi circulation ke through transfer ho raha hai transport mechanism nucleus ye pura endoplasmic system show ho raha hai nucleus having the nuclear membrane then the material transported uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum then it may be in the form of vesicles directly transport uh, transfer ho raha hai transport ho raha hai through the plasma membrane or it may transfer through the golgi complex and then exported from the cells so it is responsible uh, for the transfer or the transportation of different types of component through uh, different organelles are through endomembrane system different functions of endoplasmic reticulum includes me mechanical support endoplasmic reticulum will give mechanical support to the cytoplasm intracellular transport this i discussed kiya endoplasmic reticulum functions as circulatory system of the cell it transports substances from one place to another place in the cell it is called the intracellular transport protein synthesis may both important role hai endoplasmic reticulum ka endoplasmic reticulum will provide surface for attachment of ribosomes these ribosome will synthesize the proteins ab ribosome jo endoplasmic reticulum ke sath attach hai wo kaun se proteins banayenge wo proteins banayenge wo ya to secretory proteins hongi ya structural proteins hongi ab jo functional proteins hain enzymes hain jis jo ne cytoplasm mein function perform karne hai unko free ribosomes produce karenge synthesize karenge metabolic activities also controlled by the endoplasmic reticulum due to the presence of different enzymes there are 30 enzymes present in the endoplasmic reticulum these enzymes help or involve in different metabolic activities synthesis of lipoproteins smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesize lipids 
In the Golgi complex, the glycosides got associated with the protein produced by the endoplasmic reticulum, thus complex lipoproteins are formed. Detoxification is the very important function of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum will detoxify internal or external toxins. If toxins are more in the body, more smooth endoplasmic will produce. So, these general functions are in this way. Smooth and endoplasmic reticulum collective functions are discussed. Another function of the endoplasmic reticulum is the ATP synthesis. Endoplasmic reticulum membranes are the sites of ATP synthesis in the cell. Formation of other membranes are also a responsibility of the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum give rise to the cisterni of the Golgi complex or the outer membrane of the nucleus. Golgi complex is cisterni or outer membrane nucleus key. They are, these are also synthesized or formed in the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum provide increased surface area for cellular reactions. Endoplasmic reticulum are responsible for impulse conductions. In the muscle, sarcoplasmic reticulum will release calcium which is responsible for muscle action. Folding of protein is the major responsibility of the endoplasmic reticulum. Jab koi bhi protein banti hai, us protein ko fold hona hai, usko post translation modification on us protein ki uske saath ya to carbohydrate ko attach hona hai ya lipid ko attach hona hai that is called the post transition modification to so post transition modification or folding of protein is also take place in the endoplasmic reticulum folding of protein molecules in sacs called the cisterni and the transport of the synthesized protein in vesicles to golgi apparatus correct folding of newly made protein is made possible by several endoplasmic reticulum chaperons proteins endoplasmic reticulum mein chaperon proteins hoti hain these proteins are responsible for correct folding of the final protein in these chaperon proteins include the protein disulfide isomerase pdi erp29 the hsp family member uh, including the bip or grp78 kelnexen kel reticulin and the peptidyl propyl isomerase family these proteins these are the chaperon proteins responsible for the folding of the proteins only properly folded proteins are transported from the rough endoplasmic reticulum to golgi apparatus agar protein ki folding folding properly hai aur uski post transition modification properly hai then it will transport to the endoplasmic uh, to the golgi bodies for packaging and for transport and if the folding properly nahi hai then it will re uh, it will retransfer to the endoplasmic reticulum jahan pe uski folding hogi agar uski folding nahi hai to wo protein abnormal protein hai unfolded proteins cause stress response in endoplasmic reticulum the unfolded protein cause uh, different types of problem these proteins cannot function properly in the cell endoplasmic reticulum also help in the कंपार्टमेंट कंपार्टमेंटलाइजेशन कंपार्टमेंट्स फॉर्मेशन में इसका बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रोल है सेल प्लेट फॉर्मेशन ड्यूरिंग सेल डिवीजन में भी इंडोप्लाज्मेटिकुलम रोल प्ले करता है एंड साइटोप्लाज्म वैक्यूलर सिंथेसिस में भी इंडोप्लाज्मेटिकुलम का रोल है टाइप्स ऑफ इंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ इंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम रफ इंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम स्मूथ इंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एंड सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम रफ इंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम द सरफेस ऑफ रफ इंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ऑफन एब्रीविएटेड एज आर ई आर आर rough er also called granular endoplasmic reticulum is studied with the protein manufacturing ribosomes giving it a rough appearance that is closer to nucleus and composed of cistern to so, rough endoplasmic reticulum ko rough endoplasmic reticulum kyun kehte hain because iske sath ribosome attach hote hain jab ribosome attach hote hain uske appearance rough hoti hai that's what is called the rough endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum mainly closer to the nucleus and these are composed of the cisterni the binding site of ribosome on the rough endoplasmic reticulum is called translocon wo place jahan pe ribosome attach hote hain endoplasmic reticulum sa that is called the translocon however the ribosomes are not a stable part of this organelle structure as they are constantly being bound and released from the membrane to so, ribosome attach hote rehte hain aur release hote rehte hain that's why the ribosome are not the stable part like endoplasmic reticulum uh, that are the rough endoplasmic reticulum these are the stable special function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum is these have the ribosomes so the major function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum are the site for the protein synthesis a constant si proteins banegi structural proteins or secretory proteins protein translocation protein folding and transport of protein is also responsibility of rough endoplasmic reticulum glycosylation glycosylation is the addition of the 
functional group or addition of the carbohydrate with the proteins. This is the relation of the saccharides group with the hydroxyl or amino functional group to form a glucoside. Manufacture of secreted proteins either secreted uh, constitutively with the no tag or secreted in the regularly manner involving calatrin cal and the paired basic amino acid in the signal peptide. So, secreted protein ki senses be rough endoplasmatic columnar ho rahi Membrane synthesis ka jo function hai jisme phospholipids membrane hai wo bhi endo, rough endoplasmatic column ki responsibility hai. Integral membrane proteins that stay embedded in the membranes as vesicle exit and bind to new membranes. Manufacture of lysosomal enzyme with the mino 6 phosphate marked added. These are different function of rough endoplasmatic column. Now have a look at the detail of the each function that you discuss of uh, rough endoplasmaticulum senses of the proteins on membrane bound ribosomes a ribosome only bind to rough endoplasmaticulum once a specific protein nucleic acid complex forms in the cytosol so ribosome kab bind karega endoplasmaticulum saath jab nucleic acid protein ka complex banega cytosol mein this special complex form when the free ribosome begin translating the messenger RNA of a protein destined for security pathway. Jab messenger RNA ribosome ka istamal karte huye, free ribosome ka istamal karte huye, wo protein raega jisne security pathway se excrete hona hai. Ab us protein ka jab complex panega, messenger RNA or protein complex panega, then the ribosome will attach with the enterprise reticulum. The first 5 to 30 amino acids polymerize and code a signal peptide. जो पहले 5 से 30 तक अमाइनो एसिड होंगे वो सीक्वेंस होंगे पॉलीमराइज होंगे उनमें जो अमाइनो एसिड आपस में बांड पेप्टाइड बांड बनाएंगे एंड दे एनकोड ए सिग्नल पेप्टाइड ए मॉलिक्यूलर मैसेज दिस सिग्नल पेप्टाइड गिव ए मैसेज दैट इज अ मॉलिक्यूलर मैसेज दैट इज रिकॉग्नाइज एंड बाउंड बाय सिग्नल रिकॉग्निशन पार्टिकल्स इस मैसेज को रिक signal aggression particle recognize karega. Translation pauses and the ribosome complex binds to RER translocon. Ab jahaan pe jah 5 se 30 jo amino acid pehle synthesize ho chukhe hain, ab translation pause ho gi, wahan pe stop ho gi. And the ribosome or messenger RNA or protein ka jo complex se it bind with the rough endoplasmatic column that place is called the translocon where the translation continues with the nascent protein forming into rough endoplasmatic column lumen are in the membrane so ab wahan pe jab attach ho jayega translocon ke sath translation dobara continue hogi aur protein form hogi the protein is processed in the er lumen by enzyme that is signal peptide s which removes the signal peptide ribosome at this point may be released back into the cytosol however non translating ribosomes are also known, known to stay associated with the translocons. So, now ribosome ne jab protein synthesize kar li, ye detach bhi ho sakte aur wahan pe wo attach bhi reh sakta hai. Wo depend karte hai uski uh, situation pe. Senses of membrane lipids. The enzymes involved in the senses of phospholipids are themselves integral proteins of rough endoplasmaticulum membranes with their active sites facing the cytosol. तो वो एंजाइम जो मेम्ब्रेन लिपिड्स बना रहे हैं जो फास्फोलिपिड्स को सिंथेसाइज कर रहे हैं वो भी मेम्ब्रेन इंटीग्रल दे आर आल्सो द इंटीग्रल प्रोटीन ऑफ द रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक मेम्ब्रेन जो फास्फोलिपिड को सिंथेसाइज करेंगे ग्लाइकोसाइलेशन नियरली ऑल द प्रोटीन्स प्रोड्यूस ऑन द मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड राइबोसोम्स आर ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन्स Glycosylation or addition of the carbohydrate chains to the proteins occur by either N linkage or O linkage. The formation of the carbohydrate sequences of glycoproteins occur without the use of the template. So, when the protein is attached to the carbohydrate, that is called glycosylation. So, this glycosylation is necessary because the protein function of these proteins are always glycoproteins. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is named because of uh, having no ribosome. Jab ribos endoplasmic reticulum ke saath ribosome nahi honge, that appearance is like the smooth and the endoplasmic reticulum is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum having no ribosomes. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum are closer to plasma membrane and made from the tubules. Plasma membrane kareeb hote ho, tubules se milke bante hain. Special function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum the basic function is the lipid synthesis glycogenolysis steroid synthesis like cholesterol progesterone and testosterone etc involved in the metabolism of carbohydrates help in the detoxification of poison and drugs 
removal of the lactic acid from muscles uh, during the fermentation or during uh, the anaerobic respiration, major storage and release site for intercellular calcium ions. Senses of lipids. Phospholipid biosensors is largely confined to membranes of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Studies with the radioactive precursors indicate that the newly synthesized phospholipids are rapidly transferred to other cellular membranes by the help of specific, phospho specific phospholipid exchange proteins, glycogenolysis, and blood glucose homeostasis. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is found to be related to glycogenolysis or breakdown of glycogen. In Prenatal liver cells, the glycogen depletion is accompanied by an excess increase in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. On the other hand, glucose 6 phosphatase present in SER membrane removes the phosphate group, generating glucose molecule from the glucose 6 phosphate that ultimately move into blood for the maintenance of the function of red blood cells and nerve tissues. So, when blood mein glucose concentration is hoti hai, to smooth in the reticulum, the enzymes are converted to glucose in glucose. Steroid metabolism. Many enzymes present in the membrane of SER have a key role in the synthesis of cholesterol, the precursor of steroid hormones and bile acids. Detoxification. SER help in detoxification of wide variety of xenobiotics, toxic materials of the both endogenous and exogenous origin in the liver such as the barbiturates, bar, uh, bar medicine, ethanol, aspirin and petroleum products. Detoxification is carried out by a system of oxygen transferring enzymes that are called oxygenases which include the cytochrome V. P450s, these enzymes lack substrate specificity and are able to oxidize innumerable hydrophobic compounds into more hydrophilic, more readily excretable derivatives. So, the toxic compounds are excretable, easily excretable, so that the harmful effects are less. Sarcoplasm reticulum. Sarcoplasm reticulum from the Greek word that is the flesh is a smooth endoplasmic reticulum found in the myocytes. जब मसल्स में जो एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम है उसको सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम कहेंगे द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम सिंथेसाइज मॉलिक्यूल्स व्हिच आर व्हाइल द सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम स्टोर्स कैल्शियम आयंस एंड पंप्स देम आउट इनटू सार्कोप्लाज्म व्हेन मसल्स फाइबर इज स्टिमुलेटेड तो सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम का फंक्शन क्या है स्टोरेज ऑफ द कैल्शियम आयंस एंड हेल्प इन द कंट्रैक्शन ऑफ द मसल्स after the release from the sarcoplasm reticulum, calcium ions intact with the contractile proteins that utilize ATP to shorten the muscle fibers. The sarcoplasm reticulum plays a major role in excitation or contraction coupling. Occurrence of the endoplasm reticulum. So, occurrence depends on the function of the function. Because we have two types of endoplasm reticulum, a rough endoplasm reticulum and smooth. Rough work is to do protein senses, rough work is to do metabolism, and smooth work is to do lipid senses, membrane senses, and detoxification. Now, rough work is to do more than that, which is the protein senses, which is the structural protein senses ability, or which is the requirement of protein. Now, smooth cells are the same cells in which lipid senses, which is the hormones, the steroid hormones, or lipid hormones, which is the same cells in which smooth endoplasmic reticulum ki concentration zyada hogi. The occurrence of endoplasmic reticulum varies from cell to cell. Different cells mein inki concentration zyada uh, vary kati hai. In hepatocytes, liver cells mein both smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum are present. Liver cells mein dono mojuk hote The erythrocytes, egg and embryonic cell lack ER. Erythrocytes mein, egg mein or embryonic cell mein koi bhi endoplasmic reticulum nahi hota. The adipose tissues, brown fat cells, Adrenocortical cell, uh, cortical cells and endocrine cells of testes and ovaries contain SER. Because in their function, that hormone produce करना जिन में steroid होता है, जिसमें cholesterol होता है, जिसमें lipid होता है, इसलिए उनमें SER की concentration ज़्यादा होगी. On the other hand, cells of organs involved in actively in protein synthesis, acinar cells, of pancreas, goblet cells, or cells of some endocrine glands are found to contain rough endoplasmic reticulum that are highly developed that are responsible for the protein synthesis packaging and transport of the proteins that's all about the endoplasmic reticulum we have discussed the endoplasmic reticulum or the network of tubules started from the nuclear membrane and end with the plasma membrane having three major components cisterni vesicles and tubules there are two main types of endoplasmic reticulum it may be the rough three main types it may be the rough 
endoplasmatic coulomb smooth endoplasmatic coulomb and the sarcoplasmatic coulomb each endoplasmatic coulomb have its own specific function and the occurrence of the endoplasmatic coulomb depends on the function of the endoplasmatic coulomb jis jagah pe jis endoplasmatic coulomb ka function zyada hoga uski jagah pe uski concentration zyada hogi in the next lecture we will discuss about the mitochondria